what is good green gang yep my hair is straight i am um, i'm gonna cut it i've uh, i've just decided i'm i turn 30 tomorrow and <laughs> yolo midlife crisis let it commence so yeah my hair's grown quite a lot actually um and it's in pretty good condition but where the top was bleached when i had that like pink splatter at the top some of those bits are a little bit damaged and kind of broken off and it's a bit uneven and yeah i just thought let's change up the style i want to have something fun and new plus i'm always wearing braids so whatever the haircut is it doesn't really matter because i'm just gonna put it back in braids after that and let it grow some more it's getting so long i can't believe it so basically if you guys regularly frequent tiktok then you guys will have probably seen like the wolf cut so i could have done this curly but i want to do it on my straight hair because that's how i would wear it um, but otherwise, yeah, if, you're, if you've got natural hair, just search unicorn cut and it's quite a similar kind of way of cutting your hair. So anyway, I found this picture of Rihanna or I came across it on Instagram a while ago and I was like, oh, that's so nice, like it bangs, da da da, da. Never thought anything of it. Um, and then I saw this, this haircut trending everywhere and I was like, yo, that's the haircut. So I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try it. I'm following a Brad Mondo tutorial, but yeah, let's just get into it because I don't really know what else to say. Important, make sure you've got some clips and some actual hair shears. Don't use kitchen scissors because it's just gonna mess up your hair. You want sharp, like proper shears. You can get really cheap ones on Amazon or eBay these days. I think these were probably like a tenner. I've also got some thinning shears in my letterbox downstairs, which I'll go and get halfway through this video. But yeah, let's just do it because if I don't do it now, then I, Am I gonna do it? I don't know. My hair's all uneven, it's like super heavy, the layers, and I just don't think it's that flattering. And I wanna get rid of like a lot of the damage on the top from the bleach so that my hair can have a fresh start. I feel like my top layers always grow so much quicker as well. So I know they're gonna grow back quickly if I don't like this haircut. Um, but yeah, just give it will just give my top layers a fresh start. So do you know what? Let's let's just let's just do it. <laughs> right, so the first thing we wanna do. <laughs> Let's brush our hair all the way to the top. By the way, guys, if you have naturally um, straight hair, Brad recommends doing it with wet hair, but obviously if I did it with wet hair, it would be an absolute mess. I can't believe how long my hair's getting. This is ridiculous, but I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm so excited. Right, so you wanna get it as slick as possible and just bring it all the way to the top. You can see all my forehead wrinkles when I do my hair. I should probably get a mirror. Hold on. Yeah, so you want it in a super slick, straight pony right at the top. And I feel like the more forward you bring it, the more intense the haircut's gonna be. Basically, you wanna tie that up. I've gotta make sure it's all super smooth and slick. You want to tie that up right in the center just to make sure that it's like symmetrical i guess oh i'm nervous okay voila okay so before i do this and yes i'm massively freaking out because brad literally cuts like that much off like three or four inches um <laughs> so before i do it please don't do this at home by the way <laughs> if you're not sure i just don't really care but maybe go to a professional especially because we can now but yeah if you want to keep your length brad recommends just pulling a piece out of the back and checking like i hope you guys can see this checking where it lands on the ponytail and just make sure that you don't cut past that point so basically i'm going to cut up to that point i think i'm shooting myself right i'm going to change my battery so that you guys don't miss this so now I'm literally shaking. <laughs> so I'm gonna brush this up. God, oh my god, I'm so nervous. Fuck it though. This much? Fuck it. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> what did I just do? I feel like it's not even that much. Not gonna lie, I'm so scared to take this down. Okay, fuck it. Oh my god, it doesn't even look like anything. <laughs> I'm such a pussy. Like, it literally looks the same. I'm gonna cut off more. Am I gonna regret this? 
we'll see. In fact, what I might do, which I've seen other people do, I don't know if this is the right thing to do or not, but what I might do is actually leave some hair down in the back and just cut the higher layers a bit shorter. I'm so scared right now, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> it was at that moment she realized she had fucked up. Oh my god, did you guys hear my dad just go, oh no, is that a sign? Okay, it still looks really normal. It does feel a lot healthier though. Okay, I'm going to try it one more time, go a bit shorter and stop being such a pussy because I think my hair's quite long, so I feel like I'm cutting loads off, but I need to remember that it's just the top layers. <laughs> Fuck it, let's go, let's go. I'm doing it. <laughs> It's fine, it's just hair. It's literally just hair, who cares? Is this the moment where I go too far? Okay, I'm gonna go neat in it now. So I now have hair all over me and all over the bed, but we move. Is the final take down? I don't think I can cut any more off. I don't think I've got the balls. Let's have a look, shall we? Mm. Ooh, okay, now I see layers. I feel like I could still go shorter, I'm just too much of a pussy. Like, do I just, shall I just do it? I don't know. I kind of feel like I need to see it wavy. I need to get changed, I'm too hot, I'll be back. I'm definitely gonna go in one more time. <sighs> what am I even doing this for? I feel like I've cut so many inches off at this point, but I just want it to be like proper, proper shaggy, do you know what I mean? Sorry, I'm just using my phone as a mirror a bit closer to me than the camera is. Oh my god. Oh, it's so much. Okay, I think that really is enough now. Right, I'm definitely not gonna risk going any shorter now. Let's move on to the next step, shall we? Ooh, we got layers on layers. I'm literally sweating my hair out right now. I'm just gonna open the window. Sorry if you can hear the kids playing outside, but it's too hot. Forgive me. I'm also gonna run down and grab my thinning shears. So I'll be back in a sec. Look at this hair all over me. So this is the cut now. As you guys can see, it's like a lot more layered, but I don't, I still don't know if it's dramatic enough for me yet. I've cut so much, like there's hair everywhere. My hair is everywhere. If you guys know that song, tell me what it is down in the, uh, the comment section down below. I'll be surprised loads of you know um i'm gonna cut more off <laughs> it's happening i just can't help myself oh my god it looks like i've got a really hairy chest <laughs> i'm gonna bring it all in because i feel like i want it to be completely even if i cut off some of the length so what it's just hair we we move do you know what i mean do you know what i mean babes so as you guys can probably tell i wasn't even cutting any length off so i'm just gonna go for it this is definitely the last one now. Wish me luck. I'm gonna take it pretty far because I'm a psycho. I'm so nervous. Okay, all right, last one, last one. Okay, that's it now, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm gonna neaten it up, I'll be back. That's definitely it, because I always get a bit too scissor happy and take it too far. Ordered these on Amazon yesterday. Ooh, they're kind of sexy, you know. They're kind of sexy still. We're doing a middle part, and then we're going to section the hair off from, the, like, the crown down to the ear. You guys see that? And then I'm just going to clip this back, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I don't know why I'm talking like this is a tutorial, like I even know what the hell I'm doing. We've just got a trust in Brad, you know? I don't even know what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna bring this side all the way over here. I think basically I'm just gonna even this out. Just hope for the best, okay? You guys can't even see what I'm doing right now. Just want to get rid of any of the longer bits and make it straight, I think. I don't even know what I'm doing to be honest, but it's fine, it's just hair, it will grow back. Okay. Hmm, I don't know about that, but it's fine, whatever. So we do the same 
on the other side, I'm going to clip this bit up now because it's getting on my bloody nerves to be honest. Cut way too much off. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. That's that split. That's that split right there. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Next. Take a little triangle. Take a little triangle. From the top of my lip to the bottom of my... Well, basically from about here, we're going to do a little... Little snippets. I can I can get down with that. I'd love to see my what my face looks like when I'm growing my hair, <laughs> like the concentration. This is always the side side I find really difficult. <laughs> Fuck, I'm so nervous. It's fine. It's just hair. This is all the bits that need to kind of go anyway. And he says it doesn't need to be perfect, so it's fine. Okay, one side's definitely way shorter. Shit. I think I went too short on the other side. Oh well. It is what it is. Okay, is that even? That's kind of even Stevens, isn't it? Kind of sorta. I feel like a fucking rock star, dude. Why is my finger so bendy? What? That's new. Ooh. -hoo. I'm into it. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Anything that looks kind of blocky or a bit too thick, you just take the thinning shears and do like a little whoop, you know? Apologies for the kids outside, but it is way too hot in here. Oh, wait, I've got a fan. Well, that, that's probably less annoying. Be right back. I hope the fan isn't too annoying, but I think it's definitely better than screaming kids outside. This is the bit that scares me, but here we go. Oh my God. Oh, that was good. Did you see? Like it just took all the weight out of it. Okay. Okay, thinning shears, I see you. To be honest, I don't think there's that much weight. I think it's more just in the front. So I guess the last thing to do is just style it. I wanted to wait. I don't know whether to use my curling tongs or my straighteners. What do you guys reckon? I've been using the GHD Max. These are sick. I'm still a huge fan of my L'Oreal Steam Pod as well. I just like these for like the front pieces and like nearer my edges. Um, and I don't usually, like the smaller DHDs just don't do it for my hair, but these are insane. Um, but I did use the L'Oreal Steam Pod for everywhere else, in case any of you guys were wondering. <laughs> Cause I get a lot of questions about what straighteners I use. Um, so first of all, I just need to sort out under here because I did sweat out my freshly straight hair, which is kind of annoying. And yeah, I know I should be using a brush, but like, I'm lazy. I think I'm gonna use my curling tongs. By the way, when it comes to the thinning shears, apparently it's better to do it when your hair's straight because you can see where it's really blocky. Um, I will link the video down below though, because I know my, I'm not trying to give you a tutorial, I'm just showing you <laughs> my results. I'm gonna use the Babyless Keratin Shine Curling Waving Wand. Love this, it's so cheap and it works really, really well. So yeah, here's to, Hair damage. Whilst I wait for this bad boy to heat up, I'm gonna take some of this Kerastars Elixir Ultime Huile Originale, Huile Sacrée de Marula. De Marula. Mm, I can't even speak French and I am half French. Basically, it's just Marula oil. Um, so I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that and run it through my hair. I never know how much to use when my hair's straight. Just to further protect it. Also, it smells incredible. It gives your hair incredible shine. And yeah, I want it to look a little bit PC, so that's why I'm doing that. I don't usually like to put too much oil in my hair once I've straightened it, but this is a different story, isn't it? It's ready. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Right, I guess I'll start with the underneath layers and then just work my way up. Um, and I think I'll just fast forward this because it's pretty straightforward i'm gonna curl i think away and towards my face just because it's like a shaggy messy hairstyle so i want it to look like uneven i don't want it to look all uniform i want it to look quite natural so let's do it baby and uh i'm doing it quite messy i'm not doing it any specific way or following any specific like i don't know routine or size i just want it to look really messy i think using a waver would be quite cool for this as well
feel like now you can really see the layers. Not gonna lie, I kind of wanna go shorter with the layers and make it really dramatic, but I'm just gonna chill because I don't wanna go too far. I'm gonna let the, the waves, whatever these are called, um, cool down and then I'll come back and brush it out and show you the final result. This is the final look. I am in love. I can't believe it's gone so well. Um, I went through after curling it and just sheared off some of the other kind of blocky chunky pieces and yeah this is the final result. I feel like it never looks as good on camera but it looks so good. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I've got cute ass birthday hair and I didn't cut off all my length which is the main thing. Um, let me know what you guys thought. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just thought I'd film it for the sake of it. We 30, we doing whatever we want to be doing because life is too short. I've learned that from this boy, but also just how has it gone by so quickly? Um, so yeah, if you want to see more videos like this from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let me know what else you guys would like to see from me. I will see you all in the next one. Until next time. Bye. Mwah.